The next view to discover is Board View. This is an easy to use Kanban style board that shows a quick at a glance view of your tasks in the different stages of a workflow, making it simple as dragging and dropping to update task statuses, assign responsibilities, and adjust priorities in real time in a responsive way that supports agile project management. If you wanna move your tasks quickly through your processes, this is the view for you. With board view, there are a few best practices to consider as well. First, use swim lanes to visualize your workflows and manage tasks. Swim lanes add complexity and allow you to make multiple updates simultaneously when moving tasks. For example, you can create an assignee and status swim lane so you can see what tasks each team member is assigned. Swim lanes add complexity and allow you to make multiple updates simultaneously when moving tasks. A quick note here is that this also serves as a rough way to manage resources by seeing how many tasks each team member is working. The next best practice is to add work in progress limits to your board view. If you're managing your tasks in an agile way and have some limits in mind for each task status, you can select the max load of tasks that you and your team can take on within each status. The last tip for board view is to customize what is displayed on the board with what is relevant to you. If you work heavily on subtasks, show your subtasks as separate tasks here. Once your subtasks appear here, work on them just like you would with tasks. This is especially helpful if you're working in sprints and adding subtasks to multiple lists. Okay, now that you've seen some best practices associated with board view, go to the hands-on exercises attached to this course and try it for yourself.